Action Congress, AAC, and the faction of the People's Redemption Party, PRP, have announced an alliance ahead of the 2023 general election. The parties also presented Omoyele Showore of the AAC as their joint presidential candidate. To overthrow and take down the evil system of oppression in Nigeria today. Falalu Belu is listed on the website of INEC as the national chairman of the PRP, while Kola Abiola, son of Moshud Abiola, is recognized as the party's presidential candidate. Speaking on the alliance, Mr. Shawore said the alliance is between the authentic AAC and PRP, and it is aimed at rescuing Nigeria from the grip of the two major parties. There are some similarities. The person who formed the PRP is known as Aminu Kano, one of the most, one of the poorest but most powerful politician in Nigeria's history. He had not a car known to belong to him, but he was more powerful than all the rich people in Nigeria in his own time. He had not a mansion built in his name, built by himself, but he had mansions and lots of national buildings named after him today. There is known in this country today an Aminu Kano International Airport in Kano. There's a hospital named after him. He's a man of integrity. Alaji Balarabi Musa, who also was a member of the party, was the first governor in Nigeria's history to be impeached because he refused to engage in corruption. The first. He also died with dignity a few years ago. When we started our party, we are the first party that's the African Action Congress in Nigeria's history, founded by young people. When I mean young people, really young radical elements in Nigeria. It's the first political party in recent history that called for a revolution in Nigeria and carried out that master plan in about 30 cities in Nigeria in 2019. Of course, the same thing that happened to the PRP also happened to us. At the point, the PRP was hijacked by reactionary elements. Also in 2019, the AAC was hijacked by reactionary elements. Whereas the PRP, the legacy PRP, the PRP vanguard, the original, authentic, and undiluted PRP is the one that we are in bed with today. They are the ones that we are in alliance with today. The AAC as well regained control of his party after I was sent into detention, restricted to Abuja for three years on June the 2nd, 2022. Because I know so many of you journalists will be asking, oh, are you marching with a faction of the PRP? The PRP doesn't have a faction. The other PRP is the overflow of the APC or PDP. It's not a faction of the authentic PRP. The other political parties are not different. What we know is that APC was formed by those who defected from the PDP, he said. We would like to express to you that the other political parties, especially who are contesting in this election, are not different. The PDP is not different from the APC. The APC is not different from the PDP. As a matter of fact, what we know in Nigeria is that the APC was created by people who defected from the PDP, I think in uh, 2013, and won an election in 2015. And by 2019, those who defected from the PDP also came back to the, I mean, who defected from the APC, also came back to the PDP. In this election, these four, there are four political parties that you hear about mostly. That's the APC, PDP, the Labour Party, and the NNP. 
All of the characters and personnel in these parties are from PDP originally. Some of them went to APC and are now back into PDP. But as you know, in churches, when there are too many people inside the main auditorium, they create at the back of churches what they call overflow. The, PD, the NNPP is the overflow of PDP. The Labour Party is the overflow of the PDP. In fact, the Labour Party own is worse because they are an orphanage home for internally displaced politicians. Anytime they are rejected from PDP or APC, they go to the Labour Party. And it's the most, today in history on the continent of Africa, is the most popular orphanage home for internally displaced politicians. On his path, Mr. Dauda described the Falalu-led PRP as reactionary forces attempting to hijack the party and derail it from its leftist ideology. He stated that they are still in court to recover the party from the people with neoliberal ideology. PRP happens to fall in the hands of some reactionary forces. When I say reactionary forces, you know, the suits of the establishment who intend to kind of uh, dilute PRP from its potence, from its people-oriented policies and programs. And we, the true sons, of the founders of PRP, people like the Michael Imod, the Tino Achebe, the Yusuf Bala Osman, the Asabi Reza, the Haji Atumbosawaba. We say no, and we will not take this. Attempt has been made to, to destroy PRP, because it's one of the last, or, or, or one of the oldest and, and few left parties in Nigeria that is always talking about Nigerian people, Nigerian masses. Look at all other parties. They have content for Nigerian masses. They hate the Nigerian people. Look at how Nigerians are being treated. Look at what's going on. So, we are in court. Somehow, the party impeached leader on the basis of an attempt to take away or change the party constitution and then expunge some people-oriented policies in the political parties. Mr. Showore, who contested in the 2019 elections, stated that he would be willing to support women for positions. We do not believe that women are sufficiently represented in radical politics in the country. And we regret and apologize for this. We don't feel good that the high table here is occupied only by men, when we are the champions of human rights and all kinds of rights in the country. But trust me, our particular major interest is to ensure that women equal men in this country. So it is the reason why the, our political party is going to jettison what you used to know as the women uh, affairs and uh, women ministry of women affairs and make it a ministry of uh, gender and equality. I was at a human rights event on Saturday, was it on Saturday? And the permanent secretary of the ministry of women affairs is a man, permanent secretary. In Adamawa State, a former commissioner under Bindo, Governor Bindo of women affairs is a man. In fact, there was a time the APC was having a national convention or a state convention somewhere, and a man was applying to be woman leader of the APC. <laughs> these are how confused these other political parties are when it comes to recognizing the rights of women. We just want to make it a priority to address that particular issue before you start acting on it. 